then I'd be probably three or four cycling up the garden path. My ambition was to be the first Englishman to win a stage of the Tour de France, but uh, I was never any good. It wasn't really until I retired that uh, cycling came back in a big way. Now I'm averaging around 80 to 100 miles a week. I think I've cycled about 1,600 miles so far this year. Um, I will be 82 in August. Most of the time, one doesn't feel old. I don't know how on earth I've got here. I don't feel that I'm 82. When I'm riding up there, I feel very little different to the way I felt when I was in my 20s. When I started cycling, the idea of an Englishman actually winning the Tour de France was something that was absolutely unthinkable. But to have managed two winners in the last couple of years has been a fabulous achievement. I think Yorkshire can offer a good deal. There's some very good climbs and it'll be quite a testing few days for the Tour. I've tried to do many of the iconic hills that the Tour goes up just so that I could suffer a little with them and feel a little of what they were feeling. It's a climb of Buttertubs Pass. So when I get to this point, I'm almost home. But all I've got now is the final hill up to the top, which is always a killer. Was that? <laughs> that was very hard. <laughs> yeah, a very hard climb off that last bit there, yeah. It's a great joy to know that Grecia can still do it. Um, uh, <laughs> I sometimes look down at the forks and think, hmm, they're 65 years old. It's a feeling of happiness, really, with the bike. I can enjoy this as long as I possibly can.